Well, Bella Wines brings a taste of Tuscany to Philadelphia, and I'm very excited to tell you about this one because the wines celebrate the importance of family and heritage, and we want to make sure that you meet the founder and CEO because he has ties to Philadelphia. It's Yemi Bello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, we're doing great. Doing great. So you have, even though you're from Nigeria, yes, you were pretty much raised and spent most of your time here. Yes. Okay. Where did you uh, go to school? I went to Temple University, TU, mm -hmm. and I did my business school at um, St. Joseph University, St. Joe's. Wonderful. And how did you get into the wine business? Uh, many, many years ago, I have to give kudos to my current distributor, Breakthrough, Breakthrough Beverage. I worked for them for about seven years. Uh, currently, my distrib distributor partner in Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, um, D Washington, D.C. as well. And we're looking to expand, and that's how I got into it. I started working with um, some brands, growing some other brands, and eventually um, left quit a job and started this in 2020. Started it in, oh, a pandemic yes, project. Yes, pandemic. That, that turned profitable. <laughs> so you are one of the few wine importers, minority owned wine importers yes. in our area, yes. in the region. Yes, And these are th your most featured wines that you own? Yes, these are the wines I own. Okay. And these are a legacy brand for my two daughters and they are the driving force behind the brands every day. Oh, they're your inspiration. Yes. And the wines are named after them in different ways, yes, right? Yes, they are. And we have beautiful, your daughters are beautiful, by the way. How old are they? Um, 16 and 15. Oh, that's just on 16, um, the 27th of August. They look like twins. Oh, oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, let's get into the wines. All right, because uh, let's see, we have the labels here. And you put together, we hold it steady so we can get the camera on it. Um, the names, all that, you yes. put this together. So what's the name of this one? So Due Fille. Due Fille means two daughters. What we're looking at, what we have here, it's a rosé wine. It's uh, from Tuscany, Marema. Um, it's 100% Sangiovese. Okay. It's um, organic grape. All the wines from Italy are organic grape. Mm -hmm. um, unlike many rosés, this is a rosé full body, and you can enjoy this year round. Oh, very nice. Okay, and we should, as we go through these, the price range, because most of these you can find in restaurants. Yes, you Some can. Some of your most, favorite, most popular restaurants yes. here. Um, and so the price range for them is around... Um, the price would range anywhere from about nineteen ninety nine all the way up to about sixty dollars, okay. give or take, yeah. ranging depending on the retailers itself. Okay, so continue. Here's another white. So we have a Vementino. Uh, Vementino is an indigenous, somewhat to uh, Marema. Um, it's a white wine. Mm -hmm. um, it's unrepresented Vementino, no blend. Also stainless steel, doesn't see any oak. It's an amazing, very very fruit forward. Citrus, you get notes of pear, peach. And it's great. It's a, it's a well-balanced wine. It's nice and light. Yes, mm -hmm. very, very light um, for the summer, um, also for the winter as well. All right, this next one. So now we're going to reds, right? Yeah, now we're moving on to the reds, still under the Dwayfia line. So what I've done is I did the Dwayfia line, which we have the rosé, the rosato, the Vementino, and also the rosso. The rosso is in 90-10, 90% Sangiovese, which is, in, which is what um, Tuscany is known for, mm -hmm. and 10% Syrah. So what I'm actually doing is trying to aerate it for you so you can get the notes. Uh huh. Please, salute. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. So <laughs> yes, please lead well. me through this. Enjoy it. <laughs> So you get some earthy notes, which comes in from the Syrah, uh, but primarily it's 90% yeah. Sangiovese. Oh, very nice. Okay. We're and we right move, along. we'll move on to Lucerella. So this is a different line. This is then. a different line. This is 100% Sangiovese. You just tasted a blend, yes, which is 90-10. Uh -huh. um, this is Lucerella means sister. One I mentioned earlier, this, my company is a legacy-based company, and it's based on my family. I have, there's five of us, four boys and a girl, and this is paying homage to my sister and also my daughters being sisters to one another. So family is pretty important to you yes, then. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Okay. Now listen, I might be on the floor because this is, <laughs> I may have me doing all these by myself. So Yemi, don't let me fall now. I promise I got you. Very nice. Very it's, nice. Again, organic grape. One of the things we've done is one of the things I've done with my team is I invested mm -hmm. in a small winery in Tuscany. And that's ends the way we are able to bring some of this wine to the U.S. Okay. And um, what we have next is some Brugio. Some Brugio is a um, Bordeaux blend. It's 40% Merlot, 30 okay. Cabernet, yeah. and 30 Cab Franc. I'm going to um, do what you did. You swear <laughs> yes, here. easy. Okay. Um, basically, <laughs> what that does is air it's the wine, gives it more body, and lets the alcohol kind of dip, um, dipisate and moves away. Um, this, hey, Mike. 
Are you feeling okay? I said, like, yeah, you're here to help me out. <laughs> yeah, my right? goodness. We, we do have extra glasses. <laughs> I haven't eaten today yet. Um, one of the things I've, again, we do five is in. we I'm try to pay. In. Oh, God. <laughs> I try to pay homage back to where the uh, wine comes from. So, some okay. Rouge was a medieval town um, in Tuscany, very close, few kilometers from the winery. Um, it's a, it's a well structured wine, it's a typical Tuscan blend, um, red wine. And also pays homage to my dad as well, who we'll makes the, um, you know, structure of the family as well and my mom. Okay. All right, let's move through these next two because I want to make sure we put up the restaurants so people can get them. So running out of time here. Yeah, so we have Ventuno. Ventuno means 21. Um, one of the things also I do is it's an unrepresented Cabernet. Mm -hmm. um, Ventuno is, my, most of my team joined the company in 2021. Everybody joining the team from now and moving forward gets a percentage of this brand. It's a profit sharing brand. Oh, wow. So my entire team gets um, profit from this brand itself, and, you know, which is so on the So this is a different Cabernet. line here. Yes. Okay. So we're moving to our estate line. The estate lines of San Brugio. Ventuno, okay. and lastly, La Graciosa. Now, number seven. <laughs> Good there. Yeah. Oh, boy, be careful. Very nice. Okay. So La Graciosa means grace, and this pays homage grace. to two other women in my life, my mom and my winemaker. Um, La Graciosa, again, means grace. It's unrepresented Syrah, organic grape again. Uh, it mm -hmm. sees a little bit of oak vats. And this is well, that's what we have for you today. Well, the, here's a list of the restaurants. This is a Philadelphia restaurant. I mean, these are big time restaurants. Giuseppe and Sons. Oh, I miss some of them. I think Prime Rib. We have Bistro Romano, Rivers Casino. Uh, these are some nice ones. And then, of course, we have some um, out in the, the mainline area or the yes, suburbs. Yes, yes. We have Pietro's Prime, Overbrook Golf Club, Alessandro's, um. so Stella. Oh, okay, very nice. So when you go out to these places, we just make sure to ask for what Bello, uh, Bello wines you have? Yes, yes, just ask for what Bello wines they have. Um, some of them are great partners of ours. Um, you mentioned um, the prime rib. We actually have a wine dinner. I'd love for you guys to be a guest of ours on September 22nd, oh, if you can make can it. Can people get tickets to that? Yes, they can get tickets to okay. it. Okay, where can um, they get tickets to that? Um, I think it's um, the prime rib. Dot com, but I'll okay. send some links to you. Perfect. Um, but one of the things we do in Italy, once we finish um, drinking, we always do gin. Um, so I do wow. have a gin for oh you to, gosh, to try. Oh Don't fall over. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we okay. have a new age. This is, this is a trick out of my book. I didn't tell you a producer. No, but we did not tell you this. <laughs> Are y'all setting me up? They're setting me up. So, oh my, this might be my last day. Uh, <laughs> so this is one of my newest gin coming in okay. from um, the UK. I, grew, I lived in London for many years, um, and this is one of our newest gin coming in. So I would love for you, if not on camera, at uh, least try it. This might have to be a commercial break <laughs> thing, Yemi. Okay, how can we get more information on Bella Wines? Because we are out of time. Thank you. Um, www.bellowines.com okay. and check out Instagram. Congratulations. Thank you. Beautiful Thanks for having work. me.